this is going to be a part two to the soul tie video that I did. Now, this is the first thing I'm going to tell you. If you know that you have a soul tie with someone and you want to break it, because a lot of people were asking me that, the first thing you want to do is you want to remove them from all of your social media sites. Even if you have to block them until you can go through the healing, I would suggest that you do that. I would also suggest that you stop being a monitoring spirit and watching them, monitoring them, looking at their posts, looking at what they're doing. This is going to be a prayer for breaking soul ties. I thank you, Lord, for revealing to me the soul tie. Father God, I repent for this unhealthy alliance and you name that person. Repent for fornication, oral sex, lying, any sin that you committed. I repent for the sin of idolatry, of allowing this relationship to become a hindrance in my life. I also repent for being unequally yoked. Okay. I break this soul tie supernaturally in the name of Jesus. I renounce every unholy act. I break in any hole in the demonic realm that has formed a soul tie. This is why a lot of you all will still have dreams of you having sex with your ex when you're really partnering with the demon. You want to break this stuff supernaturally. I repent if I have committed sex in my dreams with a demon masquerading as my ex. Yes, repent for having sex at the dream level because you are having sex with the spirit. In the Bible, I talked about it in my first one, that when you have sex, you become one. You do not want to be one with the demon. Repent and renounce for the spiritual fornication. Please call back every fragment of your soul, every emotion, everything that was taken from you. And break the spiritual cord supernaturally in the realm of the spirit. And then I want you to quote 3 John 1 and 2 that reads, Father, I pray. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prosper. After you say this, then I want you to quote this scripture. Okay, so now after you do all of that, I want to read Hebrews 8 and 13. It says, in that he said a new covenant he had made the first old. So I want you to literally ask the father. Say, I want to come in covenant with you according to Hebrews 8 and 13. Okay, so I hope this all blessed you and I hope that you all got something out of it. Please read, re-listen to this TikTok and write the prayer down so that you can quote this yourself. In Jesus name.